So I just wanted to do a quick little video about the, um, the kind of motor I'll be using for my hex copter and as well the uh, motor mount adapter that I've made for the motors I'll be using. I actually cut this with a hole saw, a bimetal hole saw. I'll show you how that's done, how that'll all work when I get this going. So the motors I'm using are the Multistar 4822 390 kV. Let's have a look and see what's inside here. Okay. So there's the motor. Comes with uh, 3.5 millimeter bullets. Okay. And then of course you got your little packet of uh, screws and your prop adapter. Plus you got a knock lock nut there to uh, keep the propellers on, or your propeller on, sorry. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing for my, for my setup is I made a motor mount out of plywood, two layers, eighth inch, eighth inch, and then this is three quarter in the center here. All I did was hole saw this one, hole saw all three pieces actually, glue the three-quarter one to the eighth inch and then you cut out your groove or your notch for the arm of your your aluminum arm that you're going to be using and of course you just glue the uh, eighth inch piece on top and that's pretty rigid like that's definitely not going anywhere plus from what I've read in the forums <clears throat> wood is supposed to be a pretty good uh, vibration absorber somewhat I would say alright now to mount this motor onto this motor mount that I uh, made what you'll need to do <coughs> excuse me should get a piece of aluminum they come in uh, strips about two inches wide by about three feet long it's just a strip looks like this okay and then what I did was bought a bimetal hole saw okay and you just cut that out take a file clean off all the burrs and the edges all the way around and then you got your piece for your motor so this, uh, this motor mount is eighth inch aluminum thick the motor it's going to be sitting on it. It's going to be connected right to it. Then of course I'll have a couple more holes, two more holes. And the whole thing will just bolt right through onto the frame. And that'll keep it nice and solid. And I'll show you how I got these holes laid out nice and uh, clean. Take a hard piece of plastic. Take your motor. You put the plastic on the back side of the motor. Okay. And then all you do is take a sharp point. And for the holes that you want to be using, okay, sorry. You just take that point and you press it in into the plastic. Then you take your motor away. Grab this piece here. And then uh just line up all those points. Okay. Take this point again and you press into the uh, right into the aluminum and you'll get tiny little marks. So when you take this piece of plastic off then you're going to know where to drill your holes for your motor. Now what you'll do afterwards once you get everything cleaned up Take some screws out. Okay, and the way this works, take your motor, pop the screw through. Don't forget to use thread lock as well. Always make sure you use thread lock when you're screwing metal to metal. 
Okay, so that's how that works. And then what I did over here, because the head of the screw sticks out through the bottom of the plate, you got to take this same template and you pre-drill some holes in the top of your plywood so you countersink enough room for the head of the screw to fit in. And there you go. That's how that works. So that's uh, one of the tips I can give you for making your own motor mount for these um, multi-star motors because the motor mount's already built in to the motor. But sometimes it's not very useful, especially if you want to make your own um, motor mount for your own frame or your own application, whatever you're using. The other thing I'd like to mention, point out, is that these bullets are only 3.5. And the odd thing is, the wires that they provide for the, um, or that you buy separately for these multi-star uh, motors, is that they they come with four millimeter bullets, which is totally useless. You can't go three point five to four because that is, just doesn't sit in there. So another useful tip for you is these packet of uh, bullet connectors. What it is, it's a four millimeter male end and a three point five female end, and they're soldered together along with some heat shrink, and you can get them from Hobby King. So you just take that out. Okay. There's your 3.5 side. So that's done, and what I would do is just put a piece of heat, heat shrink on that. So that's guaranteed not to fall off or come off or anything. And I'll just show you your 4mm, connects to your 4mm. And voila, that's it. No extra soldering. So especially on a hex copter that I'm going to be building, that saves me about 18 extra solder points to have to deal with. Alright, so I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, good luck with your build, and uh, see you soon.